Hi, it's Michelle from the Bead Gallery, and today I'm going to show you how to make a cone shell lariat using our very fun 1.25 millimeter beading cable chain, a couple of cone shells, a two millimeter silicone slider clasp, and some little bits of chain here, and some shells, and jump rings, and charms. Okay, so let's get started. The tools you're gonna need are a wire cutter of some sort so you can cut your chain, and flat nose and chain nose pliers here because we're gonna be um, squishing end crimps, and we're also going to be opening and closing jump rings. Um, one more tool that would be handy to have is the um, crimping plier. Okay, we're gonna use that for our fold over crimps. Okay. So let's just get started here. I cut about three feet, that's 36 inches of our 1.25 millimeter beading chain. This one is in an antique silver plated finish. We also have it in several other colors available. Okay, and then basically all I'm gonna do is Get the two ends of my chain and feed them through the hole of the silicone slider. Okay. So we're going to feed the ends of the beading chain into the hole. It's easier to hold very close to the end like this and feed the two ends together at the same time. It'll be kind of tight, but that's what you want because that's what holds your chains in place. Okay, so this will just slide up and down and you can adjust the length of each end to the desired heights and differences there. Okay, and so this is a part that's gonna go over your head. Then we're going to string on our cone shells so these have holes drilled in them all the way through. I'm gonna drop the chain through there. Okay, and then I have some one millimeter fold over end crimps to end the chain with. This will allow us to have a loop at the end of the chain so we can hang our charms and our other goodies off the end of our lariat. So to attach the fold over crimp to the end of the chain. We're going to put it in this little slotted area and we're going to get our crimping plier here. And using the rounded end of the crimping plier, we're going to just kind of squeeze together like this. And pinch it. We're just pinching the end of the chain with the end crimp. Okay, and to make sure that it doesn't come off, you can hold the um, crimp in the crimping tool like this. Again, we're using the rounded outer hole. And you just kind of give it a tug and make sure that it does not come off. Okay, that's stuck on there really good. And you can see my cone shell won't come off. It'll be further secured by the chain and other goodies we're gonna hang off the end in just a little bit. We're gonna do the same thing for this side. We're gonna drop our chain through the drilled cone shell, like so. Again, we're gonna put the end of the chain into the slot of the end cramp, like this. And using the outer, more round portion of the crimping tool. We're going to squeeze the little flaps around the beading chain. And just press it tight enough so it does not fall off. There we go. If you don't have um, one of these really handy crimping pliers, you can either purchase one from us online. This is the regular 
regular sized crimping tool. It's not the micro crimper or the mighty crimper. It's just the standard crimping plier. It will crimp your two by two crimps easily and fold them in half, but we're just using them here to squish our end crimps onto the end of the chain. If you don't have one of these and you can't get one in time for you to do your project, you can always try using a chain nose or a flat nose plier to do pretty much the same thing. You're gonna squish the little flaps around the end of the chain. It's just a lot easier with the rounded jaw of the crimping plier. Okay. So we have that stuck on there good. And now we have our two cone shells on the ends of our lariat. Now we're going to attach some cable here, some sort of nice sized cable that we can attach charms to along the chain. Um, this cable we have here is this one here. This is a uh, base metal. I believe it's steel that has been imitation rhodium plated here. And the nice thing about this is because these are steel, the links are actually not soldered, so you can open and close them like jump rings, each link. So if you didn't have an extra jump ring handy, you can actually open the link and attach it straight to your end crimp. But because I have a bunch of jump rings and I want it to be a little more secure, I'm going to use one of these. These are six and a half millimeter oval jump rings. I'm going to use it to attach our charms and our shells to this chain. I'm just going to open it up and attach it like this. We like oval jump rings in this case because we have to use a jump ring that's a little bit thinner than we like to get through some of the holes on our shells. And so the oval shape makes it a little more secure than a round shape especially if you're not really good at closing the jump ring completely. Because the ovals kind of have your pieces hanging at the short end and it's always away from the seam that's on the long end. Okay. We'll attach our chains. And these are conveniently open for me. So all I have to do is put them on link my pieces together. And now we're going to start attaching our goodies to the chain ends. So I'm going to use another jump ring and attach this really cute silver plated seahorse to one side. So these are pewter charms that are available in either antique silver or antique gold finish. hooking them on to the very ends of the chain. I'm gonna put a cute pointy spindle shell on the other side. If you wanted to keep it really simple, we actually don't need this chain and you can hook um, the charms directly to the end of your beading chain if you didn't want to have like lots of things hanging off the end and you like things more simple. But we like lots of stuff so we're going to attach these really cute shell leaves along the chain like this so it's like a little cluster or vine. Okay, So we sell these here. It's available on our website. They come in a package of about 20 pieces. And the, if you look in your bag, and you get this, and you look in your bag, the pieces range in thickness, okay? So there's really thin leaves, and then there's really fat ones. The fat leaves are going to be really hard to get onto these oval jump rings, if not impossible. So you can put the really fat ones on the side and use it for a different project or you can make the holes in them bigger so you can attach them to your jump ring because the jump rings that we're using, the 6.5 millimeter ovals, the curve is not quite big enough to fit through that size hole of something that thick, okay? 
So if the hole was bigger, we might have been able to put the jump ring through there, or if the shell was thinner. In this case, I'm not gonna make this hole bigger. I'm gonna put it on the side and keep it for a separate project. And I'm just gonna pick up the skinny shells, like these, the really thin ones. And you can see they go really easily on the jump ring. And we're just going to attach them to our chain. So remember, whenever you open and close your jump rings, you're gonna hold them in your flat and chain nose plier. You're gonna swivel it open, and then you're gonna swivel them shut. Okay. Even when you're using oval jump rings, as opposed to round ones, we're gonna swivel it open, gonna hook on something else. That's cute. Find somewhere to attach this shell. And we want to start about midway up the chain so we don't cover the um, charm at the bottom because the shells are gonna hang a little bit low. Okay, so we don't wanna hang the first leaf right next to the seahorse because it's gonna cover him. Okay, and then you just attach as many shell leaves as you want or as many as it takes to fill up the piece of chain that you put there. Okay, so we can skip every other link or so. You can also alternate which side of the chain your leaves hang so you have kind of more an even distribution of the leaves around the chain rather than everything being all on one side. Okay, so you can just keep going here and once you are done attaching all your leaves, your lariat will be done. Okay, and there you go, there you have it the cone shell lariat necklace. Yay! <laughs>